Hello, beer tubers, and welcome to another beer review with me, Peter, the master of Hobbits. Today, joined by just Michael and Fritz. A Valmicey's looking at hype train. Fuck, I can smell it just sitting down. <laughs> or something I think that's gonna be hype train. Seriously, I just got a waft of the aromas. I can here. smell it just sitting down. <laughs> <laughs> I just sat down pretty much because okay. I set up the camera. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. Okay. Yep. You can be excited about it. Yeah. So, we're cracking my final bottle I brought home from the States that I got from Joe from Jaws Arcade. So, thanks a ton, Joe. You the, Joe, Joe, you the man. Yeah, we should have worn caps the other way around again. Like again? Yeah. In the horse. Yeah. Uh, but I thought we should crack this because I really felt like cracking it soon because the, I heard this is pretty good. People are saying that this is better than uh, fundamental observation. And uh, the vanilla shouldn't fade on this one. But we're looking at none other than the Modern Times Modem Tones Vanilla Edition. Bang. So this is their Burn Barrel Age Imperial Stout in uh, you know, Imperial Stout Burn Barrels with vanilla beans. They do actually a few variations on this. The first kind of beers they did was the Monsters Park series. It's also great, but a lot of people say that like the modem <coughs> series is pretty insane. Mm -hmm. I guess a reference to old school modems. It says it's like 56k dialogue. Mm -hmm. For sure, yeah. it's nothing but books. <laughs> oh, no, okay. Sure it's, modems. Yeah. That's from my age. Yeah. I remember the that old modems. That was from you were yeah. 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 Okay. When you were was still no, alive. I remember it. <laughs> when the internet was invented. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Back in the, what, 60s? <laughs> yeah. No. Came riding in a horse cab. <laughs> yeah. But I, I remember those sounds as well. But this one is made with some very cool malts. Uh, churro, flake oat, crystal, crystal, two, uh, different crystal malts, chocolate, black barley, roasted barley. But the cool thing is that it finished at 1.052 final gravity. That's like 12 Play-Doh. That's the gravity, starting gravity of a Pilsner. 12.9. 12.9 Play-Doh. Yeah. yeah, Brent just looked it up. Because I know the photo <laughs> scale much better than the, the, the specific gravity scale. So this, I think this is going to have some good body, or at least a lot of sweetness. But I'm excited about this one. Thanks a ton to Joe yeah. for trading this one. Uh, this is going to be fun to try. So pour is a very nice thick pitch black liquid in the glass. Just look at that film. Mm. It coats the glass oh, completely. Yeah, it really oh, I can smell it too. <laughs> it really sticks to the glass. It smells like alcohol. <laughs> oh, does it? Oh, and we forgot to mention the ABV. It's 14.4%. And I think Joe drank this on his own. <laughs> what a nice evening. evening. Yeah. yeah. That's a big bottle of wine. Yeah. But man, it looks great. Seriously, the vanilla aromas and bourbon aromas is just in the room right yeah, now. Yeah, yeah, I'm holding, what? I'm trying it's... to keep it away from my face, but... Uh, yeah, I mean... I got, looks, I got a waft. It looks nice. Wine. Actually, it doesn't look like crazy thick, but I think <coughs> it's going to be quite thick, judging by the, the final gravity. Yeah. And then, yeah, tan, roasty looking head. Are you ready to check out the aroma? Yeah, let's do it. <laughs> There's a lot of bourbon character. Yeah. Wow. Shit, it's almost like maple as well. Yeah. Brown sugar and maple. One thing I love about this. And though, vanilla. And vanilla. Yeah, loads so of vanilla. Of, yeah. And it's like the real, like non, not vanilla extract or something. It yeah. smells like pure natural vanilla. It almost has that slightly licorice vanilla thing about it. When you have a real vanilla pod or stick, mm. it has that almost licorice. Yeah, like thing. the skin. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Mm. Definitely a little oh, bit of alcohol. Yeah. yeah. But fuck, this smells good. Really bourbon in your really face. Really like drip. Bourbon soaked vanilla yeah, yeah, yeah. beans with yeah. like dark fruits. Yeah. And it reminds me of the breweries mm. uh, when you smell some brewery. Mm. Really uh, bourbon forward. Similar, maybe a bit more fudgy and chocolate. Fudgy yeah, and chocolate. Or sweet. Not, yeah, and not as like boozy. No, no, exactly. And the huge, like so much vanilla, so much barrel curd, so much yeah. dark chocolate as well. Oh, Caramel, brown good. sugar. Mm. Yeah. But it's like, it's. It's fudgy oh. and it's thick, but it's not like crazy pastry. It's no, like no, no, no. sick base imperial stout with a great barrel treatment as well. It's like sweet, but it's not, it's yeah, not crazily dessert like. <laughs> yeah, I know. It smells fucking great. Yeah. Should we dive in? Yes. Let's dive in. Cheers. Thanks Cheers. a ton to Joe for this one. Thanks. Oh, that is really good. Wow, it packs a punch of flavor. Oh, this is really, really good. That is really fucking good. Yeah. It really reminds me of us having bourbon county and now, the other day. And now the vanilla comes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I think the vanilla, it's like, it's a mix of like that fudgy bourbon vanilla mm -hmm. and real vanilla bean. If we compare it to fundamental observation, I think fundamental observation is more of the <coughs> frosting mm -hmm. vanilla kind of thing. This is more like crazy barrel with vanilla. I think yeah. this is more chocolatey and 
mm. caramelly and into that brown sugar kind of mm -hmm. thing. And you can really feel they pull a lot of booze yeah. and a lot of bourbon from the barrel. It's yeah. still thick, but it's thinned it out just a little bit and given it some dryness and spirit mm. to make it kind of actually drinkable yeah. for a 14.4% beer. But it's it's when really you sick. It, after you, you, it tastes like you have a glass of bourbon in yeah. the aftertaste. Yeah. It comes like it's, it's yeah. it just wafts with yeah. and like super chocolatey mm. aftertaste. It's so chocolatey. Like really rich chocolate bourbon mm. aftertaste. And at least chocolate filled bitter chocolate. Yeah. Uh, bourbon filled bitter chocolate. Yeah. It's awesome that it has so much bourbon character, but you don't feel like the, the body has suffered from mm -hmm. it at all. These little it's still chocolate so bottles. Full. Super oily. Yeah. Do you think that's a Danish thing? These small chocolate bottles with the alcohol from no. Antenberg? Yeah, but they, they, you can get so it's the Grandmanier in Antenberg, but I think they also do. Oh, a they have a series yeah, yeah, of yeah. different uh, and Jack yeah. Daniels. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, I think you can get them year round. It reminds Robert me a bit of that. I see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like mm. bourbon-filled chocolates. Yeah, yeah pretty much. So yeah, really yeah. good. With a layer of vanilla, I think the vanilla might have stood out a bit more if we cracked it earlier. Yeah, it's because almost it's like yeah. one and a half year maybe old two. or something like that. I think it was released. 17? I'm actually not entirely sure when it was released, and I don't think it says on the bottle. But I actually oh. think it was for the League of Extraordinary Gentlemen, or whatever it's called. Oh, okay. Mm. Uh, but but the vanilla in this one. It, what I love about it is the fucking it's it's Bourbon County style. Yeah, it character. is. It's such <coughs> an intense fudge barrel mm. character. I haven't tasted and the vanilla bourbon uh, Bourbon County yet, but. I could I could imagine that would be yeah, quite similar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. yeah. Only is that it would probably have more vanilla right now. Yeah, than the, of course the eighteen vintage. Yeah, but it's such yeah. a nice pure vanilla flavor. Yeah, it's really and natural vanilla, which is awesome. Yeah, like it's fun with all the pastry stuff with all the extracts, but having a beer that that's like crazy great base beer and crazy great barrel aging, paired with uh, the true ingredient, also I mean that's I think that works mm. amazingly. It great. works really good. Yeah. It's not as thick as I thought. It's, no, it's, for it's, it's, I think it's, I actually think it's really thick, but uh, maybe we hyped it up to be like almost like thick, we couldn't yeah. swallow it. Yeah, more oil. It's not horror flavor. Thick. No, but I think it's full bodied. It is. It is. And it's, it's, it's full mouth. It's oily. It's it's very nice compared to how much barrel character it has. It's impressive. It's yeah, impressive. It yeah, yeah. It's it's definitely more again compared to brewery um, alcohol wise. This is much thicker. Yeah. Yeah, but it's, yeah. And, and what like it base more, more, yeah, yeah. more. Yeah, it's better. Yeah, for sure. But, but what flavors? But yeah. what I, I think it's fun, like this the base beer that gone into the barrel for this must have been crazy mm. thick yeah. and like really intense. I think the bourbon has really mellowed it out a lot. I think so. But this is a fucking great beer. It tastes like <coughs> something that's been aged for around a year in a in a bourbon barrel. Mm. I'm thinking like a 98. Yeah, I was thinking 98. World class barrel aged vanilla yeah. stout. That's really it's fucking right. great. Yeah, it's probably the best beer I've had. I've had from modern times. Mm. I think sure. so. Yeah, I haven't had that many, but it's yeah, good. and we've it's tried some. I've been to the brewery. Yeah, been to the brewery. yeah, you've been to the brewery. <laughs> so I've had yeah. a few. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, we've had a few. But yeah, for sure my favorite so far. Man, yeah. this is great. I think it, so. it would be fun to try some variations on this and the others. I think they did a chocolate one as well. And chocolate raspberry. Yeah, all kinds of But they do, they do a lot of, yeah. of these kind of crazy beers. But yeah, damn good stuff, guys. If you have a bottle of uh, Modern Times Modem Tones in your cellar, crack it now. Mm -hmm. If you've already had it, let us know what you thought of it. This is damn good vanilla barrel and barrel stuff. You want to say something? Yeah. Oh. One thing I also noticed, of course, this is 14.4 kilobits because they were yeah. to the moon. <laughs> <laughs> of course. It's, it's a great. reference. Yeah, that was great. <coughs> awesome stuff. <coughs> Thanks a ton for supplying this, Joe. This is fucking Thanks. great barrel aged imperial stuff. And uh, yeah, check out Joe, Joe's Arcade. Okay. Most of you guys would know him already, but great dude doing awesome beer reviews here on YouTube. And uh, as always, remember to comment, subscribe, check out the Facebook fan page and Twitter and Instagram. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, and we're going to say cheers. Crazy Vanilla Stout. Crazy yeah. Vanilla Stout. And see you guys in another video.